Hey everybody, today is Flip Through Friday and we're going to do an unboxing of the tarot deck called Tarot Familiars in just a moment. Hey guys, I'm Mel. I'm off camera from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner here. And sometimes on Fridays, we do flip through Fridays. Um, this is a session, a series that has really wound down over the last few months because the decks that I own have kind of all been shared. As new decks come in though, I do like to share them with you and show you what I have received. So that is what we're doing today. This was a birthday present from a family member. And I am so, so thankful <laughs> to have people really supporting me in my journey, in my family. Now, first, I did want to just talk about Mel's Divination in general. We do have Witchy Wednesdays. We have tarot, live readings, and we have astrology usually on the weekends. So if you like that kind of material, feel free to check the channel out and subscribe to catch me live. We also have memberships where there's personalized levels and special offerings with each level. So there's a whole video about that. If you're interested, also go watch that video. Now we're going to get into this situation right here. Now this deck, it is or is sealed as you can see. So I'm just going to open it off camera because it's a lot easier. Okay. So the outside is really pretty. It's a black cat laying on what looks like some Book of Shadows or Grimoires. And I'm not quite sure who this... I think it says Lisa Parker. Yeah, I think that says Lisa Parker. So I'm guessing that's the author. And that's the back. There's a QR code. It says Fournier and Lisa Parker again. So we're going to open this. I don't really know. I had had my eye on this one and hadn't gotten it for myself. So my family must have read my mind because I had not mentioned it to them. Box is empty. Oh, interesting. The back of the cards literally say Lisa Parker. I really like all the designs here, the background designs. I don't know how I feel about, I mean, I get it. If you're the author and stuff gets copyrighted, um, infringement, having your name on the deck on every card isn't, is a kind of a good way to go. Um, so the edges are not gilded. They are, the card stock is thin. Um, similar to a lot of the other decks that I work with. But honestly, I kind of like it better because it works better with my hands because it's smaller and it's flexible and it's easy to shuffle in my opinion. So we're going to get going on this and we're going to see, this is the first time I've seen these cards. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know the, the suits. I don't know anything. So this has the knave of pentacles. This is the very first card that came out. Um, it appears to have multiple languages. I think that's what this is uh, in the corners. Because it says Knave of Pentacles and then there's that. So these are wolves. Uh, the Knave, I think, is a knight. I think. I'm not even honestly sure. We're going to keep going and see. This one's the queen. Or maybe the knave is the king. We're going to have to see. Are these all? They can't all be wolves, are they? Is this whole set? Well, we're going to find out. Queen of Pentacles. We are going to find out to see 
how this goes. King of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles. So maybe the knave is the page. I don't know. I don't have any decks, I think, that say knave on them. I know that it's a thing, but I don't believe I have any. So I'm not super familiar with that. Oh, and then the pip, it looks like might just be the actual pentacles, like how some, some decks do that. Yep. So I'm going to go through these pretty fast if this is what they're all like, because it's pointless to take time and go over them. Yeah. Okay. So it does look like the entire suit of pentacles is wolf based because now we're at the ace of pentacles. All right. I like the triple moon here. So it does appear that maybe each suit will have its own um its own character. So I think that the knave is the page. Now we're getting into what's this? Wands. And this is the king of wands. Okay. Oh, so wands are cats. This is the knave of wands. Knight. I like how it has a witchy theme. Queen. And then it should go into 10. Yep. Okay, so this looks like it's wands, but it's like with a book with, with books is what it looks like. It's these things are a book and then there's a wand on it. Okay. And that should be all of the same for all the wands, the rest of the minor of the yeah. So eight. Nine. Okay, so that's the Ace of Wands. Next we have, oh, I don't know if it's going to be Ravens, Crows, or, oh, this makes sense for Swords. There's another deck, uh, what is that? The Lightseers, I believe, that uses Birds in the swords suit because swords represent air and air birds fly right air wind that kind of thing queen of swords knave of swords he has like a key hanging from his beak or she or whatever knight of swords it does look like it's all the same type of bird so whether that be a crow or a raven, I'm not sure. And then 10 of swords. So this is going to be the remainder of the minor arcana of 10. So I'm going to just flip through it pretty quickly. Okay, so the ace is a bird with a sword. All right, let's see the next suit. The next suit is cups. And it looks like owls here, but I don't know if that, we'll see who, if it's all owls. That reminds me of Hedwig. That specific owl makes me think of Hedwig if you're familiar with Harry Potter at all. So this is the king. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be different owls. The knight. The knave. These owls are so cute. The queen from the labyrinth. I love that that it's on a crystal ball, just like in the labyrinth. And then we get into the minor arcana again. So, yes, cups. That's the ace. I think that's a barn owl. Now, this should be, yes, yeah, so this is the major arcana. So I believe 
we're going to see a multitude of different types of animals now. So the, the major arcana are usually the star of the tarot decks. I do like this judgment card. That is so cute. Because who better than a cat's face to judge you over your tarot cards? I love it. The sun with a wild rabbit or hare. Oh, the moon with a wild rabbit or hare. Interesting. The star with a bunch of cats. Okay. The tower. The devil. Temperance with unicorns and balance. Death with another cat. I just did an unboxing with a, de a different deck and a black cat was in the death card. So that's interesting. Hmm. The hanged man. Strength. Oh, in this deck, the strength card is the 11. Some decks, they switch. So they switch, meaning in the traditional rider weight style, the strength card is number eight and the justice card is number 11. But some authors f will flip them and the strength will be number 11 and then we'll probably see the justice card be number eight. Wheel of Fortune with the cat. Hermit with the cat. Yep, Justice with the cat, and it is number eight. Chariot within a unicorn. Lovers. Wow, this is the first human. Isn't it interesting? Red Riding Hood with the wolf. Huh. Hierophant, Wise Owl, Emperor with a Stag, Empress with Horses, High Priestess, Magician, and last but not least, the fool on the joker cards <laughs> okay so let's see about shuffling for a quick second because i've not tried to shuffle these but i'm pretty sure that they're they shuffle the same way they all do yeah they shuffle good so the thing is i have a couple of things to say about this deck number one you can't really do reversals because this is you're gonna know you can't really do reversals. So this deck probably isn't very, this deck isn't made for reversals, I would say. I would guesstimate. Um, I'm a little bummed because the back of the box, right, makes it look like there's a lot of different animals. But the variety was a lot less than what I thought it was going to be. Um, even just by looking at the back of the box, I have not looked, I d did not and had not looked at a flip through of this deck previously. So this is the first time I've seen it besides what was on the box. Um, my other criticism is the pips. There's so many animals in the world. I feel like they're, that's kind of like, uh, it just, it just feels like the lazy way out. Like there could have been so many other creatures that were put into this deck and it's kind of disappointing. I guess maybe because familiar familiars are, you know, typically certain kinds of animals, but what about bats? I've seen bats be familiars. I've seen snakes. I've seen hawks, foxes. There weren't even foxes in here. So mm, disappointed at the variety of animals. I thought it would be bigger and better than, than 
it is. Is what's in here pretty? Absolutely. It's beautifully done. But I do feel like it could have been a bit more um, expanded uh, with, with a variety of animals and visuals. So, and as a reader who has is seasoned, I've been reading tarot for, oh, I don't even know how long now, seven years professionally, six years professionally, something like that. Um, I can look at a card like this and be like, okay, it's the seven of pentacles. So it means blah, blah, blah. But if you don't have it memorized, you have nothing to go on. Um, so this is definitely not a deck for beginners. Absolutely not. If you are looking to start this, it's pretty. You can use it with the mi major arcana, but I would not recommend getting yourself all entrenched in the minor arcana um, where it's confusing. So I really, really am so thankful for the present. It was so thoughtful and so kind, and I really appreciate it. And I will be using the deck. Um, but as, as a crit criticism for flip through for the purpose of the channel, I did have to say those few things. So let me know if you guys have ever used this deck. Um, obviously it seems to be by Lisa Parker, who I've actually never heard of. Doesn't mean anything though, because there's a lot of pe things and people that I've never heard of in this community. That's what learning is for. And I'll see you guys all soon. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.